Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime Summer Reading Program for the week of June 27th, 2021. This week's theme is Big Animals. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andrea, illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced the tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, copped the cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches and the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twisted around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Okay, so we're gonna make a clothespin giraffe. You have your giraffe template. There's the guy. You get two legs. We're looking at it from the side so we can only see the two legs. And then you need two clothespins. And these are what we'll glue the legs to. A glue stick should work for the legs. And then you need a crayon or markers or colored pencils to color the draft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using yellow, red, I'm sorry, yellow, brown, and black. I'm gonna do these aside. And I'm just gonna do all my spots first. I'm gonna make them brown. Um, and I'm gonna make the little bit of 
bit of tail there, brown. And I'm gonna make his mane brown. And the rest of it's gonna be yellow, except for the little nosy. That'll be black. I'm trying to make it similar to a regular giraffe. But again, if you wanna do yours all fun and funky, you go for it. You can make it any colors you want. But I just decided to make this one like the kind I see at the zoo. So I'm gonna go ahead and color these and then we'll start our gluing. Okay, now that we have them all colored, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue on the legs and we want the clothespin to open up top to hold on to the giraffe's body. So I'm just gonna take my glue stick. I'm gonna turn over the one leg and just coat it with glue sticky glue. Glue sticky glue. And then we're just gonna glue that leg right to the Pin, and we're gonna do the same with the other one. The nice thing about the glue stick is the glue dries really fast so we can just go right to the next step. Do that as straight as you can. Um, doesn't have to be perfect of course but it's easier if it's not falling off of the clothespin. Then we just take and we clip them on the bottom And we got a giraffe that stands up. And that's it. <laughs>